this is a freeway six-way toggle switch. It can be used to wire up your guitar with six different configurations. It's got basically the three positions up, middle, down, then you slide over and then you get up, middle, down again. So there's six positions uh, with plenty of contacts here to make uh, some interesting combinations. Um, specifically with uh, humbuckers, um, it'll work better because you can you do coil splitting and things like that. I bought this switch originally for the kit guitar back there, um, with the, my dual P90 guitar. Um, unfortunately, this switch uh, doesn't have enough contacts on it to do everything I wanted to do with that guitar. Uh, so I need to, needed to get the next version up, um, which has a lot more contacts. Um, and that way I can do uh, in and out of phase. Um, there's no coil splitting because they're two P90s, they're single coil pickups. Um, but there's a series, parallel, in and out of phase, all that stuff I can do with the other switch for that dual P90 guitar. But this switch is gonna serve me well anyway with my trusty old PRS SE Custom. This is circa 96, I th or 96, sorry, 2006. Um, 2007, that somewhere around that range. I, I forget exactly when I bought it. Um, it's a great guitar, dual humbuckers, um, but they're literally just, you know, neck pickup, both pickups, and the bridge pickup. Um, I'm going to install this switch and give me three more settings. I haven't decided yet what those settings are going to be, but I'm going to test it out. Um, just so we get an idea of what this sounds like now, I'm just running it direct through my board uh, and using very minimal uh, effects here. position, which is both pickups. And then the uh, bridge pickup. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out how to wire this thing and come up with a bunch of new sounds and we'll uh, see what that turns out like. So I went ahead and decided to also install the kill switch. It's an Iron Age kill switch that I got a while back, meaning to install it on this. Um, and now that I'm doing the switch, I decided why not do the kill switch at the same time. Uh, you'll notice this little toggle switch that I installed. That's actually uh, to turn the LED on this on and off. It's not, you know, it's just a gimmicky sort of thing, but I like it. It's cool. And I like guitars that have lots of little levers and switches and buttons. I just kind of dig that, that look. Um, so, yeah, that's... The kill switch. Okay, I've uh, started wiring things up. So far I've got the kill switch actually fully wired up. This is the battery pack. It'll all go in there. But you'll see that this 
little toggle here turns on the light. So that means it's all connected properly, at least for the light part of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, and now I need to continue wiring up the switch, which is right here, and that's going to be tough. Well, that's it. I think it's all done. I have not plugged it in yet, so I have no idea if I made any mistakes. Um, and <laughs> I would say it's likely I did. But it looks pretty cool from the front. Got the kill switch here. The two pots, which I haven't put the, the knobs back on. Uh, the light. The switch for the light. And then the six-way toggle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put these back on, just for looks. All right, there she is. Now to, to uh, tighten the strings and everything and uh, see what happens. back well I did it uh, after uh, a painful soldering experience um, I finally got it all working uh, soldering is is not easy uh, when you've got a lot of little connections to do um, and I misread the diagram uh, and finally I got it all worked out um, so Here's the switch. So we've got the, the normal three positions that we always use, which is up is the neck only. Middle is both the neck and the bridge. And down is just the bridge. And then we slide it over. And now we're down, which is just the inner coil of the bridge middle, which is both inner coils, and then up, which is just the inner coil of the neck. So this gives me a lot of flexibility uh, for the types of sounds I want. So first I'm going to play uh, just some chords uh, in the standard three position. So position one is the neck only. the bridge. Now let's try the new positions. So the first, the top uh, neck position of the new three positions is just the inner neck pickup. So it's a single coil. Now the inner middle coils, which I kind of like, a little stratty kind of sound. And then the bridge inner coil. So let me play uh, over a backing track so you can get a good idea. And I'll put up a graphic with what position I'm currently using. Starting with the normal three positions, neck first.
So that's just an example. Uh, I hope you were able to follow along with the switches and stuff. Um, by the way, one other thing I did, uh, since I was in here anyway, I added this kill switch. I love kill switches. Um, so. <laughs> has a little light. There we go. Just something for fun. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I love this switch. I love my PRS even more now because I've got three extra combinations with single coils, which is really what this was lacking. A lot of PRSs come with coil splits. Uh, this one did not. I got it in 2006. Um, it's the uh, PRS SE Custom 22, um, which was made in Korea. Uh, it's their, what they call, the SE means student edition. So it's their cheaper line. Uh, back in 2006, I think I paid around 500 bucks for it, which was a great deal. Uh, they're more expensive now than they were back then. So, um, and now it's even better than it was. So there it is, the PRS SE Custom 22 with the Freeway 3x3 03 toggle switch and the Iron Age LED kill switch. All right, rock and roll.